Hey guys, I'm Diana. And I'm Sandra. And today, I will bake my vegan gluten-free stuffed peppers. This recipe is for you all, and especially for my co-workers in the sky. We as flight attendants try to have a healthy lifestyle and carry a lunch bag with us. And sometimes it can be difficult to make a lunch because we uh, often go in and out of customs and we have some restrictions on what type of foods to bring. So enjoy! So here's the ingredients you will need. Four bell peppers. Four cups of medium grain rice cooked. A full can of unsalted diced tomato, 796 ml. And two cups of black beans. A cup of frozen or canned peas, a cup of uh, frozen or uh, canned corn, one yellow chopped onion, and a quarter cup of olive oil. A teaspoon of cayenne pepper a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of cumin, two tablespoons of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, and a third of a cup of flax seeds. All right, so here the oven is preheated at 375. And we will start by adding some oil. I will put it at medium, make it heat. I will add the onions, salt. I'll wait a little bit till the onion get translucent. Alright, we're filling the heat, so I'll be adding the tomatoes. And now I could put, put it at high. I will add my sugar to remove the acidity. And I will let this simmer for about 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, now I put it on medium low. I will add all the ingredients together. I will add in as well the flax seed. And I will add all my ingredients together. These are all cooked, so it's just to mix them all up. And I'm gonna close my burner. All right, so here we are. It's time to fill the peppers. Perfect. Will you help me? If you pay me. <laughs> okay. So I put two different type of um, presentation. There's this one right here that I will keep the cover. I won't put it in the oven though, and it's great to bring on board. You just put it in, aluminum foil, and in the oven. Like this? That's perfect, yes. Like this. Almost done. How long do you put them in the oven? I put them, I put aluminum foil on, and I leave them for about 30, 35 minutes depending on how you like the texture of your pepper. Everything else is good, so it's really depending on uh, how you like uh, your pepper. All right, as you can see, this is the final presentation and we have lots of leftovers. So depending on the size of the peppers, this recipe I would say would be for eight to 10 peppers, depending on the size. And the leftovers, it's very good. You could have it as a meal, bring it wherever you'd like and it keeps well and it's delicious or you could fill whatever else you'd like. Voila! They're ready to eat. 
Are you ready to try? Yes, please. All right, so we'll take the yellow one. It's kind of soft. Ooh, there you go. Okay. Perfect. I hope you'll like it. I'm sure I will. Very, very good. You like? Yes. Thank you. I like as well. It's just I forgot to mention earlier with the cayenne pepper. Uh, I would give it a 7 on 10. On a scale of 10, would you give it a 7? Yeah, the well, we like spicy. We so like spicy. Maybe someone that's not used to spiciness, uh, yeah, 7 would be. 7 would be um, a good ranking. So you control your spice with the cayenne. You could not put any or just put a bit less. Okay. So. Salute! Salute. See you next Friday! Next week's recipe will be salmon with almond and coconut crust. And please remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Bye! Ciao!